We're over here getting some race tech pisses, and here we are. It took me what, 20 minutes to get here? All right, let's see what's up here. Whoa. 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 I guess everybody's at work making pistons. What's up, Alex? What's going on, man? Good. Heard you got some pistons for us. We have a reset for you. Perfect. Let's uh, let's go back there and check out the shop. Yeah. It's all hands on deck. Oh, yeah, man. Thank you for stopping by. All right, so where do we start? I guess starting point would be one of our travelers. Obviously, has all the paperwork. Can show you that. But we come over here, and one of our guys will grab the traveler. Okay. They'll grab a crate. Depending on how, how important the job is, as far as time goes, it goes in a different colored crate. Okay. So I'm guessing red is like, we need it now. It's my money, and I need it now. That's exactly what it is. Um, so the reds get more priority. The light blue ones are the least. The blue ones are kind of in between. Okay. Um, so the, they, they'll get a crate. They'll pull the forgings. We also have billet slugs. So this is this is heavy compared to the forging. So this is a, a full round billet slug. So it starts off life as one piece, and then and then slowly but surely it'll get it'll get turned. It'll get cut. And it could look either like a full round or it could be a four star. It just depends on what you want. And so let's start off over here. I can right. this is the end of the progress. So once you pull the forging, they'll come here. This is where they, this is again, where life begins. They, they start off in a traveler. You have, you know, eight to a bin, sixteen to a bin, depending on how many you're buying. Uh, it'll come to the machine here. You'll start cutting it to the to the right outside the is just slightly bigger than it has to be. Mm -hmm. So it'll start turning it into the shape of a actual piston. Start shaping the bottom as well. Um, but this is where it will go to next. Right. And it starts coming back this way. Uh, this machine here does our undercrown. So that's what the piston would normally look like at the bottom. This has an undercrown on it. Okay. You see the difference? So you can see the difference. This is how it starts off life. And then this is the undercrown milling and coloring. All the extra features that are done yeah. that are cut away. That's to make it as it's, light as it can be. Exactly. See, I mean, this piston weighs 519 grams. This one's at 538 grams. Right. Wow. So by milling the other side, yeah, that's, gain that's about 20, 20 grams, grams right yeah. there. And it's yeah. still not complete. It's still going to drop more. Okay. So this I see is actually doing uh, the sides right now. It's milling yeah. like this. Yeah. So it's doing the pin boss. Um, these kind of do this. These are all pretty much the same thing. So these are all profiling the piston, the sides exactly. of the piston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get put inside these uh, vices, right? Yeah. These are pneumatic vices really that them, hold yeah. the pistons. These are specific piston design machines. Then they'll come here to pin bore. Okay. Not, not, not pin home, but pin bore to get it closer to where we need it to be. Oh, okay. Um, that'll go here next. Same thing, cam turning machines. Um, not much to see on this side of the valve. Oh, actually, it's running now. Oh, okay. Um, this is where they come to last. It's but coming you can see, in. It's, uh, this is a five axis mill. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's doing all the valve pockets right now. I mean, you can see it do its work right now. I mean, it's going, uh, it does all eight of them at once. So a lot of people use different process for different pistons, different machines, you know. Our, mach our pistons go through the same machines as it's an auto tech or a race tech. So the finish of an auto tech is the same finish as a race tech. It's missing a few features that we don't include, but it goes through the same machines. So the tolerances on, on pin fit, the tolerances on um, cam turn, on ring, everything is exactly the same. We use the same machines. Okay, so now you, you mentioned something, cam turn. A lot of people don't understand that. They look at a piston and they think, oh, it's it's round and you know it's, it's pretty cylindrical shape. Uh, let's talk about that because a piston has actually a lot of technology and a lot of engineering that goes into uh, what you just mentioned, the yeah. cam turn. Now, so when you look at a piston, people think it's round right uh -huh. and, and they think this is straight when in reality it's barrel shaped yeah. there's a barrel shape to it and also it's not round it's oval, oval. Yeah. so if you take it and it's a full round forging even though it's full round it's it's cam it's got a it's got an oval shape to it yeah once they come to the end they come back over here okay so we go we go back to where we started 
<clears throat> Full circle. Yeah. And over here is where they come for final finish and they'll get their pin fit at the very end. I mean, these yeah. guys are stacked. Oh yeah, look at that. He does four at a time yeah, right do there. four at a time. So, looks like this one uh, is doing some milling on top. Yeah, it's starting to get the top shaped down to, to get it to that. And then the last spot will be pin fit. Uh, looks like this is a sun and diamond hone. Yeah. Yeah, a very precise piece of equipment. Yeah, that one stopped mid-work. This was probably already done. He still has all these to go. Very cool. Well, That's thank you for taking us for a tour through the shop, Alex. No, appreciate Showing you. Showing us the bike. life cycle of a piston. Uh, all right, I got him fresh off the grill, man. <laughs> it doesn't get any faster than that. As soon as they're boxed, I get the phone call. <laughs> hey, come pick them up. Thanks, bro. You missed it, dude. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm spilling I'm, the. I'm, I'm getting this part though. Spilling the beans. <laughs>